everybody. Okay, so this is the problem. This basically, this is what happened. Okay, so here's the, what happened. This guy who I've been, I guess you could say, making hints at for a couple of, for a while. I guess he finally caught the message and he was like, hey, can I have your Instagram? And I was like, okay. So I gave him my Instagram and then I was like, why did I give this nigga my Instagram? I don't know why I wanted his attention because I wasn't attracted to him. He wasn't attractive. Um, I think I was just bored and I wanted to see if I still had it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm kikiing with my friend. Like, oh, I got the news in here. I got the news in the room. But I thought afterward that I got it, I would be happy. And I wasn't happy. I was just like, hmm. I was actually a little grossed out because he wasn't. He's short, dark skin, you know, messy little plaited hair, big nose. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? He just, mm, I'm like, mm, this ain't nothing really to brag about. I don't know why I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, okay, hold up. Let me rewind. Let me, let me try some real quick. Let me try to get the nigga off the hook because I'm not, he was texting me on Instagram talking about, I want to kiss you and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, nigga, I'm good. You can keep all your love. You can keep everything. I'm good. Keep keep that on your side. I'm good on my side. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, I told him I, I have a boyfriend. But we can be friends, though. Because he was kind of funny. You, you know, when we chilling, when we vibing, when we were just, you know, being civil towards each other, we had a really nice chemistry. And I liked this. So I was like, well, we could definitely be friends. You know, I don't have a lot of guy friends. I don't have any guy friends. All my friends are African-American females. So I was like, well, shoot. You know, maybe I could have a guy friend. For I haven't had a guy friend since, like, 7th grade. Um, 7th, 8th grade. So I was like, well, you know. And he was like, no. You wasting my time. And then I was just like, dang, well, I have, I can't talk to you because uh, my boyfriend beats me. And if he sees me talking to you, then I'm afraid you're going to get hurt. Wink, wink. Right? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, y'all know I'm messy. Y'all know I like drama. Stop playing with it. So basically, he was like, bro, like, I'm a real nigga. I basically bragging you know how niggas hype themselves up you know what i'm saying Ugh, they gotta you know be all manly and stuff uh so i'm just like oh shoot this nigga ain't stop so i'm thinking he's like i'm gonna respect y'all relationship or whatever so i'm like okay cool thank you then he's like yeah get off my phone i don't respond because i i I feel like because I'm growing as a person and I'm changing and I'm learning a lot of new stuff about myself and my triggers and I'm not arguing. I'm not an arguer. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Especially about a, a little nigga who's still pissing on his nutsack. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm not arguing with no little boy. I'm not, I'm not arguing with no little hoe. I'm not arguing with my mama, with my daddy, with a hoe on the street. I don't care. I'm not arguing with you. I said what I said, and I stand on that. And if you have a problem, do something about it. If you're not going to do anything, I don't want to hear no mouth. I don't, I don't want to hear no talk. I want to see what you can do. I don't want to know what you're going to say. I want to know what you're going to do about it. Because that's I'm a doer, not a talker. So you feel me? I'm, you know, and then so basically... He be going back, he talking, doing this big one, whatever. So I go on my story and I post, he's so stuck. I, I don't say him. I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to say Lissandra. So Lissandra, I guess thought I was talking about him, which I was. He was correct. <laughs> so basically, uh, I posted on my story, he's so stupid. He think I got a boyfriend. He just ugly. Because... I really didn't have a boyfriend. I was just trying to be nice. I'm not going to say, oh, you rat-faced hoe. I don't want to talk to you. You ugly. Da, da, da. I'm not. I'm a nice person. 
And I'm very considerate of other people's feelings. So, I didn't want to tell him no. So, I just kind of made up a situation. Because lying is fun for me. Sue me. You know what I'm saying? I was... I had to do it because I was being a good person. You know what I'm saying? Um, so basically, after he saw my story on Instagram, man, he got mad. When I tell you the bomb went off, when I tell you World World 3 was about to go down, when I tell you he got his little fee wings hurt, when I tell you his ego was dashed and slashed and sucker tashed, I tell you what, he was mad, he was upset, His he was popping off at the mouth. I saw it. I didn't respond. I haven't responded to any of the stuff he said. Because like I said, I don't argue. I'm not arguing with you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your girl, he said something about... Uh, and guys do this all the time. And so, but he's... Guys, I hate when guys do this. They try to be like, hey, can I get your number? No, I'm sorry. Ah, F you, you ugly hoe. You, you know what I'm saying? When they reject you, basically the nigga just got, his ego got hurt a little bit. His ego got a little hurt. And so he cussed me out. But I'm not responding because like I said, that's kiddish. That's childish. That's immature. I'm not, I don't do that no more. I'm not doing that. If you want to come to me like a grown up, Face to face and be a real nigga about it. We can do that. But I'm not about to argue with you online. No, I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I, I'm not taking no blood pressure medicine to calm myself. I'm not, no. I'm not doing it, bro. It's not worth it. I done done it and you don't get anything out of it. So it's like, what's the point? Like, you don't pay my bills. Like, what's the point? Mm hmm. So, he was talking about how he going to see me tomorrow. I have that same energy. I don't know what energy he was talking about because I never said anything about fighting him. Uh, I never technically called him ugly to his face. I never called him a rat. I never called him the C word. I, I didn't say nothing to him. So, I didn't know what energy he was talking about. He just upset because he got his feelings hurt. He's talking about, I already got a girlfriend anyway, and she looked better than you. I'm like, okay. Okay. I'm glad you like Shaniqua. I'm so happy for you. I'm good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so childish. The stuff he was saying was just so, like, it was high school. I didn't know what to expect. It was high school. I'm like, well, there you go, Caitlin. I, that's why I only talk to older guys because you don't. You only see this with little boys. You know what I'm saying? Little boys argue with females. Little boys cuss out females. A man don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really upset. I'm just like, I should have knew better. With him sagging his pants and him smoking, wanting to be a little thug in his hoodies. and you know, I should have knew better. I should have looked at the nigga and been like, dang, see ya and miss the bullet. You know, dodge the bullet. But instead, I might be catching him. You know what I'm saying? Because he wanted to be a thug so bad. And so, and then, well, what, the only thing that really hurt me about the situation is how my friend... Oh my gosh, this is what I really don't like. I need new friends. I need, I need new friends. Because she was, the first thing she said was, what did you do? I sent her a screenshot of just a fraction of all the disrespect, all the mess you done said to me. And that's, and that's what she had to say to me. Her friend, her girl. Now, if you was my friend and some nigga was talking to you crazy, you best believe I'm going to be on my ten toes. You best believe I'm going to be there to support you. You best believe I'm going to be there right in front of you saying, nah, nigga, hold up. You ain't going to talk to my friend like that. But you know what? 
I guess we all just ain't raised the same. I guess some of us are more real than others. And I, I have to find people who are real as me. I just don't have no real people around me. You know what I'm saying? And she was almost like defending this nigga. Saying, oh, well, he's a thug. What did you think was going to happen? You lied to a thug. Oh, well, I'm like, that don't got, I don't care what I did. I don't care if I chopped his finger off and shoved it up his booty hole. If he was talking to me crazy, me being your friend, if you're obligated, you are obligated to support me and defend me by all costs. If you're a real friend, that's just how I roll. If you're my friend, if they want to fight you, they got to fight me. If they don't want to argue with you, they want to argue with me. If they want to hurt you, they're going to have to hurt me too. That's just how I am. It's loyalty and honor above all when you are a friend. I don't think these hoes is my friend. I think they're just associates that I've been talking to over lunch. Somebody can I get a witness? Because I don't know. Who that's like what? And it's just, I'm not defending him. I'm just saying, what did you think was gonna happen? I'm like, I don't care. That has nothing to do with being a good friend. You just suck as a friend. And I talked, we had this before. This is the whole thing before. She wanted to talk about my acne, my shoulders, my my I'm skinny, my height. She wanted to talk about everything. But she didn't notice how I got my hair done. It's like you couldn't give me a compliment, but you love to be a critic. That's crazy. That's insane. And I don't get it. Because I'm a sensitive person. I'm an emotional person. I'm a, I'm a very empathetic person. So I don't understand why I keep attracting. Why I, I'm like a magnet. For this insensitive. Psycho. Non-emotional beast. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I really don't. And I, and I said you know what. It's fine. When somebody disrespects you, don't come looking for me. I hope your sister got your back. I hope your other friend got your back. Because I ain't going to be there to save you. I ain't going to be there to support you. I'm not. You don't want to be there for me? That's cool. I ain't got to be there for you then. How about that? Because I'm I'm not. I'm not going to chase. I'm not going to kiss your behind. I'm not going to rub your back. And you can't even massage my finger. Like, what? You crazy. I don't know what's with... I don't know. Y'all are... I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, y'all, that's basically what happened. So I'm not really worried. I don't think he's going to do anything. But if he does... I'm going to have a pencil with me. So, and it's going to be real sharpened. And that's all I'm going to say since I'm on camera. It's going to be real sharpened. So, if niggas want to get stupid, which I hope they do not, but they they, they are niggas. So, niggas are ignorant. They're going to get stupid. They're going to get real ignorant. I already know. I got a, I got my little Samsung. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, that's basically what happened. That's really the only thing that hurt me about the situation is how my own friend couldn't even have my back. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dang, you was sorry. You just pathetic. That's sad. You can't defend your own friend? That's okay. Because it's like, that just lets me know, like, what, who the real ones are and where the real ones are. You know what I'm saying? It just lets me know, like... That's why I'm telling y'all, bro. Know who your real friends are. You got to test people. You know what I'm saying? Know who's for you and who's against you. Like, be aware of who's around you. Because you might, you might be talking to people every day thinking they got your back. 
thinking they there for you. They're going to support you. You thinking, that's my friend. Apparently, some of y'all don't know the definition of the meaning friend. Because that's crazy. And that's crazy how you can call me petty. You can call me immature. You can call me crazy, but you can't call me a bad friend. You can't say, you can't say that, baby. Because you can ask anybody I've ever been friends with. I might have been petty. I might have been emotionally disrupted. I might have been moody. I might have been unstable. I might have been uh, irritable. I might have been aggravated. But I was never a bad friend. I didn't care what we had an argument about. If somebody else was to cuss you out, you 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 best be known. I would be the first one there to support you. I'd be the first one there to defend you. That's insane. Y'all don't know a real one when y'all see it. Mm-mm-mm. I don't get it, y'all. I just don't get it. But, yeah, that's just... That just bothers me. Because it's like, I sit with you every day. You look at me in my face every day. And you have the nerve to defend somebody who you don't even know. You don't even know. You never even... you. What? You don't even know the nigga's name and you defending him. Like, I'm so, ooh, I'm so done with y'all. Oh my gosh.